Hi everybody and welcome back to Erin's Tea. Today's video is going to be all about my new experience with a new tea company called Tealish. Tealish is based out of Toronto, Ontario in Canada and one of my girlfriends who owns Live and Lily which is a baby accessories boutique she went to a trade show in Toronto and she tried some of their tea and she loved it so she told me you have to try it it's awesome so I went on their website and I'll put it up at the end of this video and they have a lot of different types of teas. They have a whole health and wellness line. They have flavored um, black, green, white, rooibos. Um, they also have straight black teas. Um, and they have a lot of fun flavors that I hadn't tried before. So I was really looking forward to it and I kind of went overboard. You probably saw on the Facebook page my little tea stash that I ordered from them last week. Ordering was easy. Shipping was free. Um, because I spent over 50 bucks and it was here within a couple days. It was the fastest tea order I ever had. So um, I want to just give you a breakdown of some of the ones I've tried already and um, I haven't tried their dessert set yet. I've got a little set with um, five different samples so I'll probably review that one next time. But let's go ahead and start talking about them. I have the chocolate mint one. Um, one of my friends, Mary, told me about this tea. She said she loves it. And I have the one from David's, and this one's different. Um, I was expecting it to kind of be the same, and I like the ones from David's, so I was okay with ordering this one. But the biggest difference with this, it has a stronger smell to it, but the taste is softer. It has apples and orange peel in it, and it's more of a velvety chocolate taste to it. Um, versus a very strong dark chocolate taste to it. So I like this one. I think I like David's better, but they're different. So I still, I'm still happy with this one. The other one that I just tried today is Bella Berry, and this one is really, really good. It's got melon in it. So if you've ever had David's um, Luscious Watermelon Tea, I love that one. I never thought I'd like watermelon in a tea because I don't like fruity teas, but this is awesome. It's a black tea with melon. Um, had it today. Totally, totally, totally love this one. The next one is the Kombucha Lychee Detox. This tea is probably the best detox tea taste-wise that I've ever had. Kombucha is a very floral type of tea. Lychee is obviously that fruit side of it, um, and it's green tea. So this one, definitely recommended if you are looking for a detox tea. Tastes fabulous. The next one caramel apple and this is the one that's kind of fun because I've never really had a caramel apple type of tea so I got this one I'm really happy with it it's a rooibos tea caffeine free it's got a very nice warm caramel taste to it it's not sweet and then the apple is almost like an aftertaste it's a very baked apple taste not a cinnamon taste it's not um, tart at all it's very very nice really happy with this one and the chocolate escape mate. I don't like this one. It's not a bad tea, but what I didn't realize is that it's a it's a roasted it's roasted. So it's got a smoky flavor to it almost, and then it has a hint of cloves and cinnamon. So you all know how I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon, and I don't like chai, so cloves is out. So this one, I'm not a fan of. I'm sure people really like it. But I'm not a fan of it, so that's not bad for how much tea I ordered. The last one I want to talk about is the Hangover Helper. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because I want to do a whole video on this one, but I like it. It smells, um, it tastes better than it smells, uh, but it's, it's an awesome tea. So I will do a whole video about hangovers and tea to help cure them, but this is one you're going to want to try. So. Until next time, that's tea to me.